We're going to do some comparisons here. First, we're going to start from Zoth Jade. <coughs> Alright, we're checking out the new uh, the Zoth Jade deck. This is... Um, always like to give credit where the decks come from. According to Hearthbone, this is straight from the uh, well-known Hearthstone streamer Crip and his stream created this deck. He feels like this is a deck well balanced against the meta that gives you a decent chance of winning against a wide range of different decks that you can run into in the current meta. So we'll try it out, see how we think it stands over a few matches. We have this and we also have a more traditional mid-range shaman that I want to try that has jade elements in it but is um, not going in the Nazoth direction. It's more of the what you remember from mid-range shaman even before main streets came out. Right, this is against shaman so we keep ooze I'm assuming and lightning storm and that's probably it. One of the things that you sort of have to go through the process of doing here is learning the mulligans. This is very likely an aggro shaman. Um, so there most likely will be jade and pirate elements. A very easy deck to play if this is in fact what it is, but to me not that fun of a deck. Not many great decision making moments, just sort of a straightforward which is all of a lot of the time what aggro decks are, especially the pirates. Although you do see misplays on ladder with the pirate decks, there are obviously times when trading makes the most sense and people tend to get so focused on going face with the ag aggro, especially pirate warrior deck, that uh, you see some pretty significant misplays. But we'll see how this goes. So this deck has an Azoth in it, as you may have noticed. Um... And uh, really what you're seeing is the Aya being one of the big things that you're going to be Nizothing, as well as, strangely enough, Loot Hoarders, Bludgemade Thanos, and Mr. Mixer. So a bunch of small minions, um, which is just different than any Nizoth deck I've played. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. This is a very, in my, from my experience, a pretty unusual Nizoth deck. Um, well, that's about as strong a turn two as you could get, right? <sighs> Do we only run one? We don't run any totem golems, do we? It's always weird to see shaman and no totem golems. So sometimes <coughs> what I've noticed when I play a new deck is it's hard not to it's hard not to um, get into the trap of trying to hold on to things too tightly. So to me the choices here are <sighs> hexing this or coining out water speaker. We don't need healing, but but considering some of the AOE we have, this is actually a pretty decent minion to put down. I think we will try that and save our hexes. It's just hard to know, like, is this mid-range shaman or is it a very aggressive shaman that happened to not get many aggressive decks in their starting hand. So the first card he drew after mulligans, okay. If he's unable to kill this, that actually plays into, okay, there's, so there's lightning bolt. Now Bran is not a bad play here.
Um, it does feel a little wasteful, maybe. But again, we're just trying to hold on here. Bran will have a huge target on his head. He will definitely trade. He'll kill Bran. Um, but in this case, that's okay. Check the totem first, because if we had gotten spell damage, we probably would have Maelstrom portaled. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll have four mana next turn. So early on, he is definitely winning the value battle, I would say. It looks, it's pretty clear to me that he's playing some sort of Um, mid-range shaman as well. <clears throat> I think one of the difficulties of this is that we have not drawn into any of our jades. And that's probably pretty unusual to be... Oh, this is like really old school... Um, mid-range so I think we have to hex that unfortunately three five seven So we finally get our jade elements on the board. Let's see if he has jade elements as well. I would think so, um, but you never know. So we've seen a fire elemental. This could be like a really true mid range going all the way up to maybe even like a Ragnaros drop. We'll see. There is a lot at okay. Yeah, going face there makes sense, doesn't it? Hmm. I think we go ahead and hex that again. If we hex it, we have four mana to play with. that I think it's worth taking a chance here on getting spell damage hmm. nine five six seven eight nine Elements guide me. All right, we'll just wait because we've got Azure Drake double maelstrom portal sort of do a pretty hard board wipe if he goes if he goes wide this turn so now we've got two targets that will die let's get one more yeah maybe even another one okay so that's the only one that doesn't die let's see if he kills our minion our little one one best case scenario is he leaves our one one up up okay Nice to go ahead and get white out white eyes out soon. Storm Guardian into our deck would be great. And I think when I was going over the Nizoth the Nizoth results earlier, one thing I left out that's obviously huge is having white eyes. Right, lightning storm. Yeah, 
It's definitely going lightning storm here, right? Oh, we went lightning bolt. Okay. Awfully good hex target, isn't it? It's gonna wipe our board. I think that changes things. A tr it's a really good ooze. It's likely that we'll see a weapon right here. If he has it, his second spirit claw will come in. So ooze and chieftain here. Pretty good. <coughs> Bloodlust, that's trouble. That's his out here, right? Evolve is also pretty gross. Oof, that was a good draw for him. A good roll for him. Is there anything that pulls us back in at this point? I do think we go ahead and play Blood Mage there. Because we need the card draw. He's counting. He may have bloodlust the way he's counting. I guess not. There is a lot at stake. Ooh. That's probably it, right? help here. We're desperate for card draw. It is weird that we're still in this game. I thought that was surely it. That was just a really fortuitous loot hoarder. I mean, uh, lightning storm. So he has spell damage. We've seen his AOE damage. I mean, uh, unless he's got something weird teched in there. He's out of portals and lightning storms. He's out of lightning bolts. That's not AOE, but I'm just saying. We've gotten both spirit claws out. He could have another fire elemental. He certainly could be running one bloodlust. Like, that's not unusual to have a bloodlust, right? It's a little weird that he doesn't know what to play here, right? He's got four cards, okay. Does he have something with overload? Nope, okay. 
Oh, that's a big pickup. I think we have to play that so we don't play the other. Let's see what we draw, I guess. Hey, give me that. I still think we play this. This is a good pickup for hopefully trying to kill whatever he plays here. We have some really good things we can draw into. We also have some slow things we could draw into, but if we draw into another Jade Lightning, Jade Spirit, Azure Drake would be awesome. Aya is ultimate, Nizoth is great. We've got enough with Nizoth that with um, Nizoth that playing it is like a total game changer right now. If we talk top tech Nizoth, I feel pretty good about our choice chances. Um, that's a great Jade Lightning target, right? Can we be patient? I think we can. Go ahead and clear off all his minions that actually have power on him. We kind of want him to remove. Mm. Well, let's see what we get out of. I mean, we get white eyes. We guarantee white eyes right now. We also only have one loot hoarder that we'll get, which is kind of nice. Only one mistress, one, two, three. I mean, that's enough, right? Like, don't play around. That's what I think. Forgot about Blood Mage. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Hmm, how close is he here? I think we're still okay. like that was going to be a win for us, but um, kind of cool that we came back from that. I mean, that's a good sign.